again. So this three valve manifold has a problem. The threads inside got all messed up and we're going to try to clean those threads. Um, uh, the threads here are half inch national pipe taper NPT and to clean the threads up we're going to use a pipe tap. Now this tap is pretty much the same sort of design as what you'd expect for a normal bolt or nut tap, except of course it has tapered threads because it is for a NPT pipe thread and not a uh, parallel bolt thread. This is half inch, 14 thread per inch, NPT, National Pipe Taper. And we are going to take this and, like I said, clean up the threads. This is sometimes called chasing the threads. The threads already exist inside here, but they're kind of messed up, so we're going to gently thread this into place and then by turning it in, we're going to recut the threads and just basically clean them up. Now I can't do this by hand. I'm just putting this in place so you get the general idea. We're going to take this here and we're going to uh, chase the threads and clean them up so that they don't have the same problem they do right now. All right, so to make this work, like with any uh, uh, tap or die arrangement, we want to make sure the tool is lubricated. This is what they call high-speed steel. It's very brittle. It's easy to break. Even though it looks pretty tough, with enough torque you can shatter this steel. It's very brittle. So we want to make sure it's properly lubricated. To do this, I'm going to take some motor oil. There are better things to use for this. They actually make tapping fluid, but it's pretty nasty stuff to be around. So I'm going to use good old motor oil. It actually does a very good job for tapping or chasing threads. I'm just going to put a little bit of motor oil on the threads of this tap the right tool for the right job. Using this old piece of wire as a wick. Then what I'm going to do is hand thread this tap into place and then I'm going to put the tap wrench on top. The tap wrench, this thing right here, fits over the tap, grips on it, and allows you to get a nice uh, lot of torque to turn it. However, I often find when you're chasing threads like this, it's better to start by hand just threading the tap in by hand before you put the tap wrench on top because by hand you have a much better chance of getting the alignment right. When you've got this big unwieldy wrench over the top of it you can easily get messed up and, and not know it. So this is imperative that I start off in the proper position. I don't want to cut brand new threads at an angle. I want to start in the same axis as the existing threads and get that put in like that. So I'm going to thread in as far as I can go by hand just to prove to myself I'm engaging with the existing threads, I'm doing it properly. Now it's in there as tight as I can get by hand. I'm going to set the tap wrench on top and rotate the handle of the tap wrench and that moves the jaw in and grips the tap so now I actually have full control over the tap. I'm going to turn it, back it up, turn it, back it up and I can feel it just got difficult then it got easier so I must have cut through or broken through a damaged part of the thread. Notice what I'm doing. Turn about a half a turn, back up a quarter. That breaks loose the metal chip I've formed as I cut with this tool. I can feel it's, it's going in nice and smooth. That motor oil is doing its job, lubricating the tool as I cut. So what I'm going to do is keep turning it in. It's going to progressively feel tighter because the wedge of that tap is going to start matching the wedge of the female threads. Once I get past the damage areas, it just starts getting progressively tighter. If I were to continue cutting, what it would do is just make the threads deeper. I don't want to do that. I just want to chase the existing threads, clean them up a bit. So like I said, right now I'm feeling it getting progressively tighter. I'm basically cutting new threads at this point. I don't want to go much further. I'm just going to take it out. And I could tell as I threaded it in, there were areas where it felt momentarily difficult, then it got freer and that meant I was cleaning up those damage areas. So at this point, what we can do is take a pipe fitting, thread it in there, and see how it fits. I also want to show you the chips that we cleaned out. Those chips, that's the metal we cut. So we actually did remove some material by threading that in there. So I'm going to set the tap wrench here. I can just tell by looking at it, it looks a whole lot cleaner than it did before. Now I'm going to take the pipe fitting, set it in place. That feels a lot better. That feels like a good fit. So we've just repaired the threads in here that were previously damaged. I don't exactly know how they were damaged. Uh, several ways it could have happened. Someone could have taken a pipe fitting without tape or other lubricant and galled the threads as they threaded it in. That's one possibility. Another possibility is they could have put the entirely wrong fitting in. 
I've seen sometimes where students will take a three-quarter inch tube fitting with parallel threads that happen to have the same thread pitch and try to put it in there and that makes a, a, a poor fit. That could have been a, an issue. Not exactly sure how this happened. At this point, I really don't care. We seem to have fixed the problem. I'm happy with this. We'll go in there with the swab and clean out all the remaining bits that didn't come off on the tap itself and then we're going to reassemble it and call it good.